Hey guys, welcome back to Team Pandory. These two Mew Minis are slightly different. This one has a great screen, this one does not. But both of them sound the same. In today's video, we're going to upgrade the speaker of this one. We need to order a Redmi Note speaker. I got this from AliExpress, it's number 8 here. Goes for under a dollar with PMP. If you have two Mew Minis, you just get two. And here it is. Let's open her up. Seems your fingers have got tired. Mine are always in prime condition. And look at the size of that thing. So replacing the speaker will take around 10 to 15 minutes. First we'll make sure it's properly turned off. And we'll start by removing the battery. If you have big fat fingers, you might not be able to get it out. Just use a stick or something. Now we disconnect the battery from the Mew Mini. There are six screws at the back. We'll use a small posi driver to remove them. As we don't want to damage our display, we'll use a small cushion and then unscrew. With not much effort, we can remove the back. We'll try and keep the screws inside the holes. Now we need to unplug the display. We first need to pull back this tape. I'm going to use a guitar pick. Use anything that's plastic or even your fingernails. Don't want to damage the board. Soon as we have a little bit of tape up, we can use our fingers. Now this tape's off, we need to pull up this little black tab. This is what keeps the connector held in. Now just slide it out slowly. As soon as this is out of the way, we can take out the board. Just be careful that the volume roller does not get stuck. So this little thing here is the speaker. We'll remove it by using a small flat head screwdriver. And just slide it down the edge here. Then slowly lever it out. And there we go. You did stick it in well. Now we can replace it with our new speaker. The outer side of this has blue tape on it. Underneath that is adhesive, so we need to pull this off. And then push it in the hole. I like to push this right to the back so the adhesive sticks and hopefully we'll get more vibration from the speaker. To ensure our speaker gets a good connection, we need to pull up these two tabs. And that's pretty much it. Just need to put it back together now. Slide in the display cable. Easy does it. Once it's in, we have to lock it by pushing down this tab. Now we can put the tape back. And now for the back of the case. For the battery, I like to start with the connector first. Then we can drop it in. Once it's back together, we can use a test suite to test the audio. Success. Let's test it head to head with the other speaker. The new speaker is louder for sure, but if we adjust the volume so they're equal. Yeah, the new speaker has a very solid sound. Let's stick these in front of a microphone and check in with some games.
So with the firmer sound and the deeper bass, the speaker is indeed an upgrade and not just for volume. But as I have an interest in music, I decided we should take this one step further. Let's give the Miu Mini a real speaker upgrade. This is the SWR LA15, a 100 watt bass amplifier. Let's reset all the knobs to 12 o'clock and turn the volume down before we turn it on. Project X, SE, here we go. And the volume right now is only at nine o'clock. If you're a louder speaker, this is it. Let's try something else, here we go. And lastly, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. We appreciate all of your support, and all the proceeds go straight back into the Pandori project. If you too want to support our work, we have the Patreon, as well as some merchandise in our shop, or you can simply like this video. That really does go a long way. Yes, and don't forget to hit that bell. I always forget to hit the doorbell when I go to a client's house. However, bashing my head against the door is one of the reasons why I'm so good in bed. Go and ask Beverly, and maybe seven of nine. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory. I'm John. And we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!